All right, let's take you up to the Cascades right now where they live sometimes. They were spotted also by accident a couple years ago, a year or two ago, up on Mount Adams. Uh, some wildlife biologists had a study going up there looking for some other animals. They set up some, some uh, trail cameras and captured a wolverine on Mount Adams. So they're out there. Hey, the Cascades right now, good and snowy. Top of the Bruno chair at Timberline. Man, it's just dumping up there right now, and it's cold. 20 degrees, only three inches new so far, but it's really just getting going. And with that cold temperature and the snowfall, it's going to be such a great powder day tomorrow. If you can ski tomorrow morning and get up there safely, then by all means, give it a shot. In the valleys, the clouds just keep rolling in. That is the reserve golf course. It's only 43 here, so it's chilly. And see the showers just keep pouring on shore. They hit the cascades. The air is forced to rise over the elevated terrain, and they just ring out and dump all the snow uh, that we see. So. Showers will continue here. What about the chance for valley snow? Well, it's too warm right now, of course, but in the morning hours, the next several mornings, our temperatures will be dropping into the mid 30s, cold enough to talk about valley snow. We haven't had a lot of precipitation yet today in Portland, but over on the coast, about a third of an inch happening there. And you can see the satellite imagery. This steady band is pushing east, and now we're breaking it up into showers and sun breaks. It's too bad we weren't clear last night. They saw the northern lights uh, as close to us as Kalispell, Montana, but we had the cloud cover, of course. So you can see the system pushing on shore, and then behind it, lots of cold air. It just keeps getting colder. The best chance for snow in the valley, I think, will be Saturday morning. There's a chance tomorrow morning, but I think Saturday is a little bit better odds. Uh, no warnings or advisories for the valley. Winter storm warning for the Cascades and the Coast Range. If you're driving to the beach tomorrow, you will be driving through snows. The snow level is dropping to 1,000 feet and even lower, so those Coast Range passes will be snowy. So here's the deal. You see rain showers tonight, tomorrow morning, a little bit of snow, snow rain mix. I doubt we get any accumulations then. Then Friday night and into Saturday, it gets a little bit colder. Here's a snow band coming on shore in 2 a.m. There's snow up and down the I-5 corridor. Breaks up, doesn't last all that long. And then another band, looks a little bit more significant, coming in potentially later on Saturday morning. Now, by then, we'll be warming up above freezing, well above 35 even. So if we get anything in the valleys, likely some slushy snow that melts very quickly after the showers move on by. But a little bit of elevation makes a big difference in this situation because the air is colder there. We have onshore flow as opposed to back in February and the 22nd. We had east winds and that cold Arctic air moving in. So this is not that. Look at the Cascades, though. Man, it's never going to dump up there. Snow level about 500 feet through the weekend. 10 to 22 inches by tomorrow night, another 6 to 14 on Saturday. So that's 2 to 3 feet of new snow by Sunday morning. And even though the snowfall backs off next week, the skiing is going to remain excellent for spring break because it's going to remain cold right on through the first half of the week anyway. It's 45 in Portland. Freezing level has dipped on down to 2,300 feet. We get snow easily, 1,000 feet below that. Winter storm warning in the Cascades for heavy snow, as I mentioned. Man, it's going to be a good day tomorrow up there. In Portland, showers tonight and snow and rain showers tomorrow. No accumulations for the valley floor, but 500 feet and above, there may be an inch or two. Same situation on Saturday morning and even Sunday morning. And then we finally warm back into the 50s beginning on Monday.